so this this really this lot here is uh, the electro punk karaoke tour because uh, I didn't I wasn't playing uh, I've been playing all these uh, very abstract ambient records and that and sort of soundtracks to uh, um, imaginary places I suppose and real real psychogeographical real psychogeographical journeys through uh, whatever the hell was going on in those years up to 98 but in 98 this is um, I was asked to uh, do this tour by Roland and Cor Corinna there there's, there's the backs of their heads in uh, in Duisburg never met them before but uh, they got in touch with me I'm thinking it was through it yeah it must, it must have been through email wasn't it back then I must have had an email account or something this looks like it was done by email page one yeah look emails we had emails in 1998 planet 13 co uk so then like so we had emails in 98. I had to go to St. Austell to get me emails from the Cyber Cafe, Planet, Planet 13. So it's like a, a five mile um, train ride to pick up my emails and uh, organise this tour. Uh, I don't know if they got emails at home in, in Duisburg. But they set this up. So um, they're into the hardcore scene, this sort of hardcore sort of punk scene with uh, sort of crusty hair and vegan and. Uh, very, uh, very, very radical. Very, uh, I suppose you'd call them woke these days, wouldn't you? But uh, they're great, great. I mean, they're great venues, and they've got a great ethos to it. I mean, the only trouble with it was these were squats, and uh, there wasn't much. It wasn't like a professionally organised. There was nobody knew about this. So this first one here, this is in Lille, with this uh, thing on the stage. This is where the uh, Electro punk karaoke started. I don't know what kit I brought with me there, but it was minimal kit. And I put these uh, backing tapes together based on uh, songs in Love and Revolution, really. Because uh, I thought, well, this is very much a live thing. I'm not going to do my ambient sound there. I've got, got projections. I used to have projections, you know, and a crew and everything. And uh, so I thought, I'll do, I'll do these, uh, you know, vocals and. Uh, with these old songs and sort of see if I can learn them at last instead of take, taking big sheets of paper with me. Learn the words. I learnt the words to all the Nocturnal Emission songs and made a few more up on the way. There I am in action. And there you can see actually an audience appeared in this no audience underground. This is in Liege. Liege was nice. That was a nice, uh, nice event from what little I remember of it. It's nothing. And there you see I've got a, a sort of a bit of a shrine to Princess Diana there and behind me is the, the mighty sperm banner. Here I am in uh, this place, Nijmegen, with uh, Origami, Benny Still, and with Francisco Francisco Lopez. So he's doing it, he's um, does this experimental thing. It sounds like what he did. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a fridge noise that's got louder and louder and louder. All the lights were out and uh, nothing can be heard apart from... I'll have a little anecdote about that which I'll tell later. So yeah, extra pool. They do this really nice printing there using these... Uh, oh, I don't know if it's a Gestetna, it's something like a Gestetna. But that's like an art... That's a sort of a, an art gallery venue. So that was a bit, uh, bit posher than the squat venues had been doing.